So how does the United States Navy go green at sea? That's a great question. When you think Navy, you probably imagine jets burning through gallons of fuel, destroyers launching missiles, and enough emissions to make Greta cry. But what if I told you the Navy is actually one of the most greenest fleets on Earth? Well, here's how. Starting with power. Our aircraft carriers and our submarines run on nuclear reactors. No diesel and no refueling for over 20 years. That's over two decades of nonstop ops, emission-free. Not exactly Tesla vibes, but it's still impressive. But what about trash when you're spending months out at sea? Well, onboard trash, it's handled like a science project. All waste and trash on a Navy ship actually gets sorted and disposed of properly. Plastic gets shredded and melted into dense pucks. Paper and cardboard get incinerated. Food waste, or what we call dunnage, gets macerated and released only when we're far from shore. Everything else gets burned, compacted, or stored until we hit the next port. The Navy has even tested biofuel blends, like mixing algae-based fuel with jet fuel and super hornets, an initiative that they call the Great Green Fleet. There's also hybrid propulsion tech on new amphib ships, like the USS Macon Island. But don't get it twisted. People still call out the Navy for sonar hurt in marine life and ships and other aircrafts leaking fuel. So yeah, it's a work in progress. So next time you hear military industrial complex, just know some of it's nuclear powered, waste conscious, and surprisingly, eco-friendly. Who knew? Saving the planet could start on a warship.